Welcome everybody to Command Combat Computer Reports, and we continue on with uh, Total War Warhammer, or Warhammer Total War. I should say Warhammer Total War, that just sounds better. Otherwise you have War War uh, right next to each other. Anyway, we have the Dwarves versus the Vampire Counts. Vampire Counts are basically the undead. You can see the types of uh, units that they have here. Um, this is a quest battle, so it's pre-chosen, the, the units are pre-chosen, although what's interesting is you're going to have a leader here and a... Um, uh, an extra character is an engineer character. Uh, so, they're both going to sort of have their own special abilities. And uh, let's take a look at how everybody is set up. Let's first start with the tactical map here, or strategic map, I suppose it is. Uh, anyway, we got miners all along here in this uh, little gap area here. Actually, basically, let's look at the terrain, because really, I set up based on the terrain. Oh, yeah, and I'm, by the way, playing the dwarves. Uh, so, usually, I narrate this neutrally, but I'll explain later. I basically am playing uh, the dwarves and all of these. So, as you can see, this is a, a terrain battlefield where you basically have a big clear area. Ooh, a uh, dragon mountain, or skull mountain, or a dragon skull mountain, it looks like. A uh, big open area that funnels into this uh, ramp up into a higher ground. You can go around here. This is sort of a longer way around, especially for cavalry. Uh, or you can go up this steep hill here or up the steep hill into these woods where you won't really necessarily know what's going on. There's a little bit of a gap here. It's a pretty cool battlefield. I mean, it's one of those things where it looks pretty much obvious you go through this gap, but you can try feeling around and getting uh, around the flanks there, or you can just trudge up the uh, these hills as well. Um, I used it in that in in the way that I put um, uh, with quarrelers, which are uh, crossbowmen, along with thunders, which are basically musketeer men. Uh, on this hill and in the woods here to kind of shoot down from that hill. Actually, you gotta, in order to understand it here, you really need to see this. Alright, so you can see how there's the ramp up in the middle and then it's steep into the woods there and steep up the hill that way. So I put the crossbowmen and the, um, and the gunmen all along here to just sort of guard that one and some more along here into these woods on this hill here with the intention of actually staying hidden until they got there and basically once they got there give them a nice surprise right in their face and they are backed up in both cases by uh, axemen that are again hidden in the woods we have on the right flank, actually here I'll go back up to the tactile display so basically like regular axemen all along there to protect them and regular axemen back there to protect them again remaining hidden like I did in the last battle, battle the idea is to uh, let them think it's weak there and then come up give them a bit of a surprise same here although on the right flank I'm a little stronger because I put my slayers there and the idea is hopefully they'll be weaker on this side and we can use the slayers to come there they're not there to defend the axemen are there to defend the slayers are there to be used as kind of a flanking force you'll know there are, notice there are more axemen on this side along with the commander because I want to make this my right flank the strong side to come in as a counter attack whereas the left flank is meant just to defend um, I'm hoping when they scout around there, we will spring our trap and then come around and hit them in the flank. Meanwhile, we have at the top of that hill, we've got our, uh, oh wait, that's the, that is the uh, leader. Uh, we've got our can cannon and our grudge thrower, which is basically uh, a catapult. Um, all of our artillery up on this hill to, you know, uh, to essentially hit them as they come up this hill. So essentially, this is all set up so when they come up this hill, trudging up the center, they will run into all of our axemen, have to fight through them, all along being hit by artillery along the way. Um, they are just a ton of zombies and skeletons. Um, they're, it's just going to be the walking dead walking right up into us. And it's skeleton warrior, uh, different types of skeletons, some with glowing eyes, oh, some with just zombies. They're really spooky looking characters. And I mean, it's just like, there's no real strategy here for the most part. It's just hordes and hordes of monsters, of undead monsters. In the middle they've got their wraiths with their skies, uh, and then sword infantry on that flank. I mean a little bit of the guys on the flanks, but for the most part it's a horde just that's going to go up at them. And it's really going to be, can they get through those axemen and get to our artillery before they're all sort of wiped out? They are in this nice little bunch here. Uh, and skeleton spearmen in the background, probably their only reserve. Um, and then cavalry over here on this flank and a little bit more cavalry on this flank. So it looks like they are going to be a little... Well, actually, no, just the Black Knight cavalry 
and the War Beast. So they're going to have a little bit stronger on the same side where we are a little bit stronger. I'm not sure where their vampire count is. Ah, here we go. Here's their vampire count. He is right in the center. Yeah. Oh, is he a leech? Uh, Zacharias Von Drac, a wizard. An evil, evil wizard. And once upon a time in Warhammer, if you killed that guy, you destroyed the entire army because he's the one kind of animating all of them. I don't know if that's still the case, but of course we're going to want to take him out while we're taking out the big hordes with our artillery. Um, well, I do have with the artillery... What is this guy's name again? Virgil Fimber. I like their names. Um, and he's got a gun with him and all that, but he basically gives bonuses to the artillery uh, by being with them and giving orders and all that sort of thing. I also have my commander out here, like I said, with this side because he is going to call forward. Oh, you can see he's already giving orders. Uh, call the counterattack. Uh, when is it time to go? And he'll go down there with them. Uh, I'm going to go with this battle, but I just want to tell you all as, as well, uh, I'm playing the dwarves through these uh, various quest battles because on July 6th, I'm going to do the I'm going to begin the uh, campaign. I'm going to do it live, and you all are going to be my dwarven senate. So if you watch then, you uh, comment and all that sort of thing, I, and I'll be taking votes as to various uh, things they do. I'll be like saying, okay, um, do you want to do A, B, or C, or, you know, and you'll all choose, or you'll also be able to name. So it's going to be an interactive battle. Anyway, for now, let's watch from the point of view. In fact, can we just watch from this guy's point of view? Well, I guess we can just go down here, because this is basically going to be a lot of us throwing uh, a lot of ordnance down at them and trying to slaughter as many as possible. All right, let's go in there and take a look. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Uh, okay, not as satisfying as I had hoped. Wow, oh, they look kind of funny when they walk. But that is probably what a skeleton would look like. I mean, zombies we know what they you know they kind of shamble, but skeletons it's kind of interesting. All right. So not only are, is our artillery getting them now, I think that the uh, archers are starting to fire down on them. Yep. But now, here, actually, we already need to pause here because their cavalry has already gotten up here. They are already going up uh, at the quarrelers. Uh, of course, we have these axemen behind. Oh, but the axemen have been hit already on their flank. So they are already distracted. They were supposed to be here to guard these uh, quarrelers. Uh, the idea was supposed to be if the Quirlers got attacked, they would come up to their defense, but now they have their own troubles with uh, Black Knights. Man, a lot of Black Knights on this side. I thought this was their weaker side, but this is actually a pretty strong side, which is bad news for us, but we're basically trying to hold them as much as we possibly can. What's happening over here? We are shooting our, uh, our bows down at them, our crossbows down at them, uh, while these guys are still remaining hidden. They have not discovered us yet. They are still. They still have yet to go uh, up and get us. So, let's keep on going. That is pretty unfortunate. That's Black Knights, right? Yep. Black Knights with their skeleton horses. Okay, now we're going to bring our axemen, but that of course weakens our center. Now we're shooting our bows down here, and the wraiths are going to go after the center, while uh, the skeleton spearmen are going to go straight up that hill, so that should be interesting. They have also some uh, coming around the side. And now, seeing, seeing that our left is weak, our leader is uh, leading some of the axemen, but they, now the axemen are chasing off the, the wraiths. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, because this he doesn't. We do not want one of our flanks to go because as soon as they get into our rear, they take down our artillery, and that is our strongest unit. Ooh, some kind of magic's happening down here. All right, let's see how this this flank is doing over here. It is fully engaged in the woods here. They've got to hold them off, but I saw that they were feeling around further over to the side, so they might be. Remember that opening there, and in fact, they did find our flank. As I said, if the cavalry finds their way around there, it'll be uh, a road to our rear. So, they're fighting as hard as they can to hold that. Meanwhile, now, oh my goodness, a dragon has come in here. What is that thing? Not a wizard. Where is he? Oh, he's the wizard. Oh, okay, he changed form. 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I see, he's up on his steed. Oh, that thing is just nasty. Tearing our people apart. Changing him down. He looks like a skeleton of a black dragon. Oh, and now he's just coming right up after... Oh, artillery is vulnerable. They're getting hit by uh, the dire wolves. And the dragon's going to come in and get them. It, actually, it's up flying right now, but... Now they're just coming through because the center got broken, and they're coming through after our artillery. Artillery can be really cool until they get through to them. Oh, that's cool. The skeletons are still in armor. That's pretty neat. So that goes. There goes our artillery. The dragon is over here fighting. Oh, the leader, who is beset by uh, by bats and the dragon. So, basically, his reinforcement is uh, about the only thing standing, because the center is gone. Oh, but, okay, actually, we still have some fighting going on over here. Looks like they're backing up, trying to create some kind of line. And the gunmen are, actually, the gunmen are holding their own. That's great, the Thunders held their own, that's nice. Now, fighting the skeletons off. The Thunders are actually doing pretty good in hand to hand usually... Although the crossbowmen are falling back, but usually uh, ranged people, when they get in hand-to-hand, -hand, don't do well. But then again, we are dwarves, so... So it's become that part of the battle where it's just like, fight for your lives, fight for, you know... Oh, and here come our slayers out of the woods. I'm not sure what happened to them. I kind of lost track of them. But they are taking on the wraiths. Not sure how their axes are killing the wraiths, but maybe they're doing what Gimli does and just blowing. And now we're actually starting to hold our own over here on the right flank. Our, our center crashed, but because we were strong on the right flank, that seems to be the one area that's sort of holding its kind of come back and is taking the, the hill area where the artillery was. The artillery is gone completely. But now they are starting to hold... Oh! Axemen are just getting too overwhelmed by the bats. Slayers are doing well, though. Slayers versus skeletons, slayers are usually going to win. How long this line? They're doing well. The artillery's gone. Oh, but our leader is still fighting their leader. In fact, did he just kill him? I think he just killed him. I think we pulled up here. Yes, just as he killed the guy. Nicely done. Slew the dragon. He's like, I am macho. I'm going to mo just walk over here. Oh, and here come some bats. Attack. Nicely done. All right, kill them bats. Kill the bats while we take a look over here. We actually might be able to pull this off because we're still in this. Well, they have a lot of people. We got slayers. And dwarves really, you know, they're, they cost a lot, but they are tough. They're pretty much made for fighting. Oh, he kicked the dire wolf in the face. Uh oh, it looks like we uh, lost ground up here. In fact, oh, all of our guys have pulled back. The slayer, Slayers are about to be uh, surrounded. That's all right. They're suicidal. They'll fight to the last man. Come on, dwarves! Oh, the, they are literally fighting to the last man. There's one guy left. And he is surrounded. Oh! And he falls. Alright, was that it then? Oh. It looks like the leader is still there. He's surrounded by bats, but he's like, screw this. I'm doing this. It's, it, what is his name? Ungren's, Ungren's Last Stand.
Let's just see how long he can last. I'm not talking just because at this point it's just a matter of watching and seeing how long this guy can last. Because, yeah, you can see the entire army moving up towards him there. It's not looking too good for him. Because everybody else is gone. He's the only one left. <laughs> no, I'll just coming to him. No, Ungren, you can do it. You are dwarf. We are about to... We are about to measure uh, exactly how tough a dwarf hero can be. Trying to see him on the face, but... <laughs> he just swings his axe and like 12 guys go falling back. Just beset by bats. If we get around to the other side of them. And it's, I like how the dire wolves are just running around them. They're just circling them. They're like, well, we don't even have room. We'll just circle until there is. Standing still, that's for pussies. Oh, he scared away the wraiths. He might just pull us off. Oh, here come the rates again. Oh, and something's coming down on him. Hey, there ain't no orders anymore. It's just you, buddy. Oh, and that is it. At last he fell. Oh, no, no, he just fell. He's back up. He is still in this fight, folks. <laughs> and see, there's some skeletons and zombies in the background just going, ah, screw this, we're getting out of here. So, actually, while this is still going on, I should uh, again reiterate what I'm doing. So, oh, wait. Oh, he finally went. No, no, they're still going up. So, I'm just going to use this time to explain to you. So July 6th, I'm going to be uh, doing a campaign. Oh, there's the wizard. The wizard's still alive. I just killed the dragon, I guess. He's And he's being a coward. He's just kind of walking right away. I guess, yeah, that's true. If, if it's still the way it used to be, if then he, once he dies, the army would be gone anyway. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Starting July 6th, I'm going to be doing the campaign. And I'm not going to just play it. I'm going to uh, run it. And you all are going to be my dwarven, uh, armed and stinky senate. And so I want uh, what you I want what you uh, what I want you to do is when I ask questions they're like okay so should I do A B or C I want you to vote what we should do in the campaign so you all will be involved it'll be a game that we're all playing together um, I'll also say like what should I name such and such a guy and so you, you know you all get to vote on the names on the choices of what we do etc cetera, etc cetera. and so that's what'll happen during the live gaming between games. Uh, if you miss the live gaming, you can still vote by commenting on the game itself and saying, I want to see this happen, I want to see that to happen, blah, blah, blah. Or especially because I'll be asking, like, do you want me to do A, B, or C? So, you know, say which one of those things you want to see happen. And, uh, you know, that's what I'll be doing come the next uh, game session. So, be my uh, Dwarven Senate. Tell me what to do. Be a part of the game starting July 6th. Now, up until that point, I am playing these... Uh, these quest games to kind of get myself used to playing the dwarves and to kind of reiterate what I'm going to be doing. And man, so this guy is still up. I feel like I should be doing a filibuster at this point. I'm just leaving this on just to see how long this guy can last. I don't know if any of you are even still watching, but 
congrats to you if you are. Or if you're just zipping through, just to see how long this guy lasts. And the bats come back. Oh yeah, a lot of these bad guys would be uh, immune to fear, so... Oh, I think that's the sign when he does the safe sign. It's over. He's just being overrun by zombies, and he'll probably be turned into a zombie himself. That's sad. Well, that's about it. Thanks you all for watching. Remember, July 6th, I'll be starting the campaign. It's going to be really fun, really interesting. Uh, be involved from the beginning. Uh, you know, create the characters with me, make the choices with me, and let's uh, do the you know do this uh, campaign together. Uh, be sure to subscribe to see more, and remember, uh, and so you can be reminded when everything's happening. Happy gaming, everybody!